In the previous video, we talked about the idea of superposition. And here is an example of where, of where the sedimentary rock layers are laid out very nice and neat, you know, very flat. And the one at the bottom is older than the ones on top, which are younger. Okay. Unfortunately, um, the Earth isn't that perfect, and the layers aren't aren't going to be perfect like that. And there's going to be some um, changes and and weathering and erosion and bends and twists and missing parts to this perfect um, perfect example here. So it'd be nice if, if it was like this, but it always doesn't happen that way. Um, so when there's um, changes to this position or uh, missing pieces to this these these layers, these are called unconformities. I don't have my nice pad today, so my writing is going to be a little bit messy. So unconformities. And the first example is probably the most basic of them, where I have some layers forming, and let's make it like the example. And so we have these layers. And over time, um, the top layer may suffer from something called weathering and erosion. So the rock gets worn down and gets eroded away. And you end up with a section of that layer that used to be there missing. Okay. And then on top of that, of course, over many years, you'll end up with a layer that ends up above it. And so what we get, uh, what we get is a part of the rock layers that are missing. So this, this part here represents the area where there's a missing piece because there should be a layer that comes up right in here. And so if we're digging and we find maybe a fossil here and a fossil here, we may be tempted to say that the fossils come from the same layer because if we dug down 100 feet and we dug down 100 feet and they both showed up around the same level. And um, so we might say, oh, yeah, it comes from the same layer. But that's just not the case because we're missing part of that, that um, time scale. And so this would be called a this conformity this conformity all right and then another one would be if let's say um, we have metamorphic rock or igneous rock and so when that happens metamorphic rock and igneous rock aren't going to be um, deposited, they're not going to look very, you know, conformed and, and in order. Um, and it's not going to lay flat like sediment. So we have something like this, where it's igneous or metamorphic rock. And then on top of that, we have a layer of sedimentary rock. And so we have something like this. <clears throat> And you can see, you know, if you compare it to our example of superposition, this definitely is going to be a problem because you have you don't have a very straight line of layering here. And so this area here kind of represents, um, you know, a lack of consistency between one layer and the next. So this one would be called a non, N O N. Conformity. Conformity. Oops. All right. And then the third one. Let's let's kind of let's hide hide these two. And the third one is going to be when the layers. Oops. Do this. When the layers bend. And we know that plates bend because of tectonics and sometimes they'll crack and form faults and they'll move and so there are times when 
different layers are not going to be in straight lines. So we have these sedimentary layers that have been folded because of maybe some mountain building and they're bent. They're basically just in a uh, rounded shape. And so instead of being flat, they're at an angle. Okay, they're at an angle. Okay. And on top of it, we may end up with another layer of sedimentary rock. And so here's another layer of sedimentary rock. And so and once again, you can see the inconsistencies and you compare that to our ideal superposition model to this. This one would be called a angular, an angular, angular unconformity. An angular unconformity because the layers are obviously at an angle. It's not. It's not at a right. It's not in flat, um, ninety degree angles. Okay. So here we have all three now. We have um, the. Let's see. Let's see the first one, the disconformity. Okay, where there's weathering erosion, uh, washing away part of a layer. We have the nonconformity, where we have a sedimentary layer on top of an igneous, whoops, where we have um, sedimentary layer on top of an igneous or a um, or a metamorphic. So this is igneous or metamorphic. Okay. And then finally the third layer or the third unconformity is an angular unconformity where we have layers that are at an angle because of mountain building or folding or faults. Um, moving the plates, and um, we have an angled set of layers. All right, so I hope that clears up the whole idea uh, of un different unconformities.